Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some characters that they added in the NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima and Create. Now, just to make sure I am in the newest version, I'm going to go right here and check. It is 2022.1.1, and I already have it launched right here. So let's go ahead and open up an environment real quick. So if I go to Content, uh, Omniverse, this is your nucleus right here. Go to Localhost, okay, and then I'll go to NVIDIA. Demos, AEC, Groundstone, and then Worlds. I'm going to go to the 20 gig right here. Now, depending on how much VRAM you have, obviously they have an 8, 11, and 20. Just open whichever you feel comfortable with. And I'll open this one right now. As an original file is okay, and I won't save it. And I'll just pause this real quick. Okay, so it looks like we're loaded up here. And I will just kind of find a good spot to load our characters right in front of this road. And what I'll do is I'll just delete this track because we no longer need it. Just has some cameras. All right, so the characters that they actually added are the Mech Warrior 5 characters. And if I go to Assets, click down, you'll see Mech Warrior 5. And this should load up here in a second. And I'll grab Atlas here because it looks pretty cool. Okay, it's pretty big. So I'll just rescale this to 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. And I can guarantee you this looks good in path tracing. So let's go and check it out. Yeah, man. And this is just in the editor as well. As you can see, this is resolving right now. This is sample per pixel. So that would look amazing in like a 4K render. Uh, let's go ahead and swap over to real time. And real time looks good too, obviously, but I think path tracing is really the future here. Okay, so with that being said, I will just go ahead and find some animations for this. Now, NVIDIA is actually hosting a short film competition for Omniverse Machinima, and you can use these characters for that said short film competition. That's why I'm really showing it to y'all, so you can use it, and it's all right here free inside NVIDIA Omniverse. So to find the animations, if I click right here, sometimes it doesn't load up. I'll show you where it is in the content. So if I go to Assets, go to Machinima, Go to Mech Warrior. You actually see the folder right here named Animations, and its name is Atlas. So we're go we're gonna go with Atlas. I'll click Atlas right now, and we're gonna go to the topmost part of the hierarchy, which is the Equipped right here. So you can see, and I will drag and drop that to the sequencer right here in the bottom left corner, and I'll just click and drag this to zero. Now, if you don't see the sequencer, if you go to Animation, make sure the sequencer is turned on right here. There's a check mark, but if you don't see sequencer here, go to Windows extensions and then type in sequencer right here you just probably have to turn it on by clicking this on right here so let's go ahead and close that and then to add the animations for the walk cycle all i have to do is click and drag to atlas find it right here and now in the perspective view i'll press play now you're gonna see atlas with that walk cycle animation now obviously it's not moving because we're gonna have to add some keyframes but first things first what i'll do now is just duplicate this walk loop cycle by right clicking Duplicate clip, and I'll press escape here. And now we should have two, All right? Perfect, and I'll go back to zero here or click right here and type in zero. Now, there is another thing that I added in the NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima, uh, it, which is the curve editor. So if I go right here and I will select Atlas again, and I'm gonna go to again to the topmost part, I'm gonna press W and what I'll do is just back it up a little bit down. Let's just make sure the feet's making contact as well with the ground, just like so. Maybe a little bit too much. Okay, and I can kind of get closer in there. And what I'll do is I add a keyframe right here, and I was gonna create a keyframe. Now I'm gonna move on to maybe 48 frames or so, and press W again, and we're going to scoot him forward just a couple of yards or inches or feet whatever floats your boat, go ahead and go right here and I'll add another keyframe there. Now, if I rewind this now, you're gonna see that it, he is kind of moving too fast. See the slide there? All we can do now is just extend that keyframe. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of make this bigger here. Now we can kind of see that he's moving, looks like the Y axis here. So if I go to the Y, translate right here, all the way down, I can really just scoot that to the right so as you can see, that's slowing down a little bit. But if you want it even slower, just kind of move that to the right. Go back to zero. You can see that, that walk is a little bit better, but I think it just went too far. So I just move that to the left. So it looks a little bit better. And obviously, it's going to keep sliding because it doesn't have any more animations here. 
but you can keep adding and just duplicating that. So I press play. Now it's a little bit too slow. Again, you can finesse this and move around a little bit. It's up to your taste really on how fast you want this character to move. But that's just a really simple way to animate this robot all in NVIDIA Omniverse here with the included character and animation. So like I said, they are hosting the NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima Contest, the closest June 27, 2022. Now, like I said previously, I think Jay's Film subscribers have the, really the edge on this competition because I have made you all a new playlist on the NVIDIA Omniverse, installing it and pretty much creating everything in here, including lighting and rendering and all that stuff. And honestly, for these prices right here that you're looking at, laptops, an Asus Pro Art Studio book with a 3080 Ti GPU 4K display. Come on, man. I honestly think y'all should at least attempt to create something in NVIDIA Omniverse. Just make sure that you do read the rules right here. Make sure you take care of that and look into that and make sure that you are reading all those rules. And it did create some Omniverse workflow machinima overview things. And additionally, I am right there whenever I announce this thing. And I am actually judging this short film competition again, which is kind of cool. Big thanks to NVIDIA for that. Now, read the frequently asked questions watch all of my NVIDIA Omniverse tutorials and videos. But with that being said, that is all I got for you all today. If you have any questions, let me know. And like always, thanks for watching.